In this problem, we're going to evaluate the square root of 27. So we're going to simplify it as much as possible. So when you see something like this, uh, the square root of 27, you want to go to the side and think, you know, what's, what's the largest factor of 27 that's a perfect square? So what that means is, what's the largest factor of 27 that you can take the square root of and get a whole number? So that number would be 9, right? Because 9 times 3 is 27. So you can write this as 9 times 3. All right, now we'll come back here, and we're just going to replace the 27 under our square root with 9 times 3. So this is the square root of 9 times 3, just like that. And now because we have two numbers and they're both positive like this, we can break it up into two square roots. Boom. Boom, just like that. And the square root of 9 is 3, right? 9 has two square roots, 3 and negative 3. But this symbol tells us we want the positive one, okay? The positive square root of 9, so that would be 3, square root of 3, okay? And that would be the final answer. So again, you see something like this, just think, uh, okay, what factors of 27 do we have? And, uh, you know, which of those factors can we take the square root of and get a whole number? Well, 9, right? So 9 is called the perfect square. So another way to say that is, what are the factors of 27 that are perfect squares? You're looking for those, and then you want to factor it that way, then break it up, and you should be good. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.